Nabasa ko yun sa isang article. Opo. At siya yung parang nasa frontliner. Opo. Wow. Tsaka talagang ano, uh, makita natin doon, nung, nung sinabi niya na, na kailangan tanggapin lahat ng mga estudyante, whether you're Catholic or not, sa ating mga, mga schools, yun din actually ang stand ng, ng ating simbahan na everybody has a right ah, na So, ibig sabihin, he is doing this in the name of the Church the of, of the, the church. Netherlands, mm. in, the in the name, name of, of the truth, truth. Yes. and of Jesus, yes. of course. And of Jesus, syempre, kasi... Mabuhay Pilipinas and mabuhay to the rest of the world. Welcome to your companion in looking at the church, the world, and the society from the consecrated point of view. This is your Kahabit, Sister Maria Cleopatrance OP from the Dominican Sisters of the Most Holy Rosary of the Philippines. Join us for your weekly dose of inspiration and information straight from the consecrated men and women in the Philippines. I am your Kahabit, Father Toots Bonafe of the Order of Carmelites. And we are The Habits! Ayan mga Kahabits, oh. it's a beautiful uh, occasion ulit na nag Good day kapatid! Magkakasama tayo, good day, good days mga Kahabits. Alam mo, Sister Cleofe, talagang marami nangyari sa mga nakaraang araw. Successful ang ating Convention. Convention. At uh, apat na araw yun, kapatid. At ano? makikita mo na napaka masigasig ang mga consecrated men and women in the Philippines, right? They are that active. Uh, at maraming challenges na uh, binigay sa atin si Archbishop Antonio de Desma. At maraming salamat sa former Joint Executive, Executive Board. Board at good luck nala at congratulations sa bagong <laughs> nabotohan pa nating mga Jeff members, members. Ng Jeff members. Ang bagong board members. Uh, thank you so much po mga kahabit for joining us for the four days po na convention yes. po natin last uh, July uh, 11 and 14. Yes. At uh, ano pa ba ang nangyari in the past days? Ah, pumunta tayo sa museo ni ni St. Titus Brands. I bagong, that, kapatid. Yes, namiss, mm -hmm. di, namiss oh, ka oh. namin. Bagong santo ng mga Carmelites. Oh. Siya po ang uh, defender of truth and patron of uh, uh, Press freedom, martyr of press freedom. Yun ang kailangan natin. Yeah. And we need the intercession of uh, Saint Titus Brasma. Oh, ikaw, what keeps you busy in the past Ay, days? Ay, very recent kapatid, very active din na mga, uh, sa mga Dominican, sabi oh, kasi, oh. kasi naka-ano po kami ng newly uh, canon, canonical establishment of oh. Opila. Late sa my double oriental. Wow! So, Mayroon nag-profess na mga Dominican lady, 11, may nag-perpetual na, na tatlo, may admission kaming anim, with the support of the Bishop of Mati. Ibig sabihin, ang spirituality oh, ni oh. so St. Dominic that, ay attractive. Wow. Sana dadami pa po tayo yes. ano, ng mga active na mga lay with the help po ng ating mga, mga consecrated men yes. and women in the Philippines. Kaya, andito tayo ngayon sa... Bagong lugar, hindi ito sa ating studio. Hindi, bagong, bagong place po ito, kapatid. So, Ka yeah, kaya kahabit si Sir Cleofe, it feels good, kapatid, to be back at makakasama na naman natin ang mga kahabit sa ating special episode today. At dahil special comeback nga ito, kapatid, mm -hmm. special means pasyal, sagot na namin ang ating travel here on the spot. Panibagong pasyal, panibagong kongregasyon ang makikilala po natin. Kaya, spread the word at sama-sama tayo sa isang educational field trip sa ating featured destination. Sama ka na sa ating growing family in our social media. Follow our Instagram and Facebook pages at Conference of Major Superiors PH. Help our ministries and advocacies by sending us Facebook stars available to the CMSP Facebook page. The more stars you send, the more people we can help. All you need to do is click the star icon next to the comment section. 
Choose the amount you like to buy and send them to us. At mga kahabits, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conference of Major Superiors PH, and also watch our episode on TV Maria sa inyong free and cable TV. At tumutok every Sunday night at 8.30 p.m., every Thursday at 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. O ano, excited na ba kayo mga kahabits? Lalarga na tayo. This is The, the Habits, Habits on the Spot. The Spot. Presenting The, the Dominican, Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine, Catherine of Siena Congregational, Congregational Museum. Museum. Mga kahabits, August 8 is the Solemnity of St. Dominic, founder and Holy Father of the Dominican family. Kaya naman today, we have the privilege of getting to know one member of the big Dominican family, ang Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena, Philippines. Wow! Exciting kahab mga kahabits, Sister Cleope. Kaya naman simula na ang paglilibot at para samahan tayo sa pag Kilala sa ating featured congregation ay narito si Sister Jesusa Jess Enhinko, OP. OP. Ayan! Hello, Sister Jess! Hello. Welcome so, nice po! You, and Madre. welcome po sa The Habits! <laughs> yes. Thank you! At Thank alam mo, Kapetid, uh, former Prioress General siya at nagkasama kami sa board ng uh, wow. AMRSP at that time sa Welcome Jeff. Welcome back po sa Salamat po sa pagtanggap sa amin. Sister Ayan. <laughs> eh, narinig ko na, alam mo, nagbimisa ako sa mga Siena schools. Narinig ko na si Mother Francisca. Pero ngayon, talaga ipapakilala sa atin. At mga kahabit, kung sino si Mother Francisca del Spiritu Santo, the ang the Fen Fentes, ang foundress ng Dominican, Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine Siena, of Siena, Philippines. Philippines. Tara mga kahabit. Samahan po kami. Madre, just ano ito? Gallery. Uh, yung first gallery, English artist. Ah, yes po, yes po. Uh -oh. I think it's, uh, we'll show you the Mother Fr her story, no? Uh -huh. Mother Francisca del Spirito Santo de Fuentes. Mm. De Fuentes. No. So, de Fuentes. De Fuentes. Kasi, you know, uh, Tapos may six galleries, wow. Uh Oo. -oh. Grabe. So, the second will be Intermours and Colentes mm -hmm. sa Takatanin, Manila. We oh, yeah. have a lot of stories about that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Lahat yan. <laughs> wow. 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 Excited ako sa mga galleries. <laughs> oh, ang history, kapatid, talagang alam na natin kung anong pinanggalingan at ano pong nangyari kay Mother <laughs> ano, Mother Francisca ng time Ma po. Magpapaalam ako. Kasi hindi ako Dominican. Carmelite ako. Oh, Mother Francisca, <laughs> I want to know you more. At ang mga habits natin are very excited to know your life, your ministry, your spirituality, at lahat ng mga dinaanan mo. Ayan. Thank you Intercede po, Mother. Intercede for us po. Yes. Venerable Mother Francisca. So, ano ito? Ah, Gallery 1. Gallery 1. Ah, so, okay. I think, we'll see. I think mm. this is a short biography. Mm. She was born in the city of Manila. At that time, we say Manila, that's Intramuros. Mm -hmm. Pag sabong Intramuros, that was Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, that was okay. the center of the, the Spanish colony. That was in 1647. Okay. At there, maybe around the age of 25, the early age was given to marriage to a gentleman whom it was named by the first writer of her, that was in 1711. Uh... But he, her marriage was short-lived. And she got widowed and childless. Mm -hmm. Nag-aral siya, sister? Huh? Nag-aral siya? Most probably, because mm -hmm. there were no schools at the time. Mm -hmm. Their schools were sa under the, 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 uh, the Spain colony, the mm -hmm. royal, royal school. Because it was too early, I think. So, Pure Filipina siya, or mestiza? Or... That, but, but she was born in Manila. That's definitely. Ah, okay. So, so Manila niya? Manila, Manila born siya. Kapatid, social. Oh. Nasa loob ng Intramuros. <laughs> Di ba sabi diba? nila dati na pag nasa Intramuros ka, ang... At uh, uh, uh -huh. may asawa, so maganda. Maganda. Uh -huh. Ganda. Siguro Ayan. Uh -huh. So anyway, so after when she got widowed, and that was, I will say, around 1680s. Mm -hmm. So, yung, she dedicated, she thought of dedicating herself to the service 
Trinity of uh, Charity. So the first thing she did was, was she must be a prayerful mm -hmm. person, even at an early age, because she started to gather, you know, we mentioned you in the mm -hmm. place. They would come together to pray in her house. Mm -hmm. So that you know, her house was like an oratory because they were faithful to their, their, their community and even in their uh, vocal prayer. Oh and then not only that, but they would go out, especially Mother Francisca would go and visit the poor. I say in the biography, it says that she was very compassionate to the poor, that she would give out even what was necessary for her. Mm -hmm. Imagine, mm -hmm. she would give so out. So that time po, Sister Jess, she is already the member po ng tertiary? Ng... No, not yet. yet. Not not yet. yet. Not Hindi only pa. that time, she was at after But her, then she, she is already yes, having the community, small community oh, with the other they women. Were they were gathering, but they live so, in their own homes. Kapatid, Parang may, may leadership skill may, siya kasi no, may inspiration ma marami, na may group siya eh nakikinig sa oh, kanya they were li but they were living in their own homes anong palayo niya? ay that we hindi na it was not to know kasi may lola Francisca. ako Francisca unseen <laughs> but Asa we will say bakit Francisca siya <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we will know sige okay. so anyway she would frequent the visit the sick in San Juan de Dios San Juan de Dios we eat in Tramuros San Juan remember is within yung where the Lyceum is now ah, that was San Juan de Dios yes. San Juan de Dios Hospital, Mere, mga like Hospital of Brothers of St. John of God. Yes, Brothers brother of St. John. Oh, ayan. Uh -huh. Mukhang may kaya sila. Mukhang... Hindi, hindi ito ko lang ito. This is a Oo, word. pero <laughs> mukhang may kaya ang pamilya. Pero well off ang family. Maybe. maybe. Hindi kasi the, 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 what the, the authors, Father was at the middle, didn't ever mention about anything personal. Uh, even yung husband, we don't even know. Sige si Father naman, sumulat, hindi pa kinumulat. Correct, correct, oo. Oh. So, so only for the parents. Yeah. Mm, so so very sister. religious. Kaya dito sa Gallery One, Sister uh, Sister Cleofe, may altar. May, parang uh, gusto i-present sa, sa atin mga kahabits na si Mother Francisca ay very pious, very religious. Pious. At saka, bakit mayroong sulsi-sulsi? Is she good in that, si Mother Francisca? No, because during that time, we have to forward, uh, mm -hmm. pass forward. After they were exiled, Ah, excommunicate kasi sila ng bishop So she asked the bishop, uh, the bishop kasi wanted to have the, um, uh, the there was a conflict over canonical mm. matters. So anyway, before they went back, uh, they would, uh, she, uh, she asked if they can, in back to the material, they can, within the, because the as bishop wanted them to be enclosed, ah. in the enclosure. They said, they submitted, they said, However, I said if you can get a large number of native girls, young native girls to be educated in the faith mm. and perfection of Christian life. Oh. Mm. So on March 3, 1706, naman, no? <laughs> the bishop approved. Ah. And that's why it became the first the first school education for native girls. Ah, the yes, because there was school. no school that well, time. school exclusively for, for, for girls. girls yeah. Ay, correct, correct. Uh -oh. Only Kasi na boys students. lang naman ang nagpinapaaral. Uh -oh. yeah. Alam mo kapatid, uh, Sister Clofe, Mother Jess, sa pelikula ko ito nakikita. <laughs> Bukang kula ang kape ko. Ayan, kahabits, punta tayo sa gallery too. Ayan. Oh, okay. okay, so, ayan. Ah, ito siya. Ah, ito. Ito, okay. You know, the, the first who, who, who painted, that was in 1911. Mm -hmm. 1911? 1911? This, oh, this was already uh, the painter of one of our sisters. Uh, sister, Very ano, recent. Oh, oh. Wow. Sister wow. Adelina. But you know the story of this? Yeah. Because when when they were coming together, yung mga kampanyo siya, so she wanted, she, I mean, she says she wanted to leave the dress of you. Widow, mm -hmm. and she wanted to join an institute, mga sec, mga university. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. So there were two at the time, the Franciscan and Dominicans. Mm -hmm. So ngayon, that she was perplexed, she was doubtful, and she was confused. Which one? Which one will she take? Franciscan? Because she was Francisca. True, true, uh -oh. true. And Dominicans, because she would frequent the Church of Santo Domingo for her uh, sacraments. Mm -hmm. So one night in prayer, the two appeared like in vision, each one calling her. St. Francis and St. Dominic. St. Dominic and St. Francis. And then, she, in her, in her impassioned advent, 
Marcel Dominic. Mm. So, Pero di ba mag, magkaibigan naman? <laughs> Friendship kami yung dalawa, no? Ay di Francisca, oh, pangalan niya, oh, oh. Dominican ang kanyang oh, oh. spirituality. Ano pa rin? <laughs> Say Francis, ha? Huwag magdanda, huwag tampo-tampo. <laughs> Love ka pa rin ni Mother Francisca. Pero ang ganda na, no? Kasi sa history, mga kahabits, alam natin na si Saint Francis at Saint Dominic Mariano. ay mga mendicant Mariano. founders Mariano. ng mendicant orders. At talagang in-embrace niya ang oh. importante mga santo ng simbahan. So, ito nag-ano. So, in 1682, she opted si John the si Dominican. She joined the Dominican. Oh, she the Dominican. Mm-hmm. So, tertiary po dati yung oh, ano, oh, sister. No. Ayan. Oo. Oh, ah, napansin ko may mga buildings, oh, may mga yes, maps. Yes, That's the map of Intramuros. Sa Intramuros. Sa Intramuros. Intramuros. Mm. Napu- napunta ka ba yung Intramuros? Ay, opo. Correct. Correct. Palagi tayo doon. Oh, oh. Ayan. And what is this? This is the model of this Coleo Viatel Coleo de Santa Catalina in Intramuros. Mm. Kasi ganito eh, Letran. This is the Coleo, this is the Calle Letran. Calle, Calle, Calle Letran. Ah, no? oh, okay. This and that, this is, uh, now it's called Viaterio Calle. This was Letran. Letran was a public road. Uh-huh. So the Viaterio was here, Coleo, and Letran was here. So it's only separated by the street. Ooh. Ngayon, you will see the passageway. Uh-huh. Because when they came, came back from the from their exiles in uh-huh. Santa Cruziana, the first thing Mother Francisca asked was the Blessed Sacrament because they know where there was no Blessed Sacrament in the chapel. So she asked if they could have the Blessed Sacrament, but they were refused by the Archbishop <laughs> and also the provincial. Alam mo kapatid, tayo mga consecrated men and women, Pagpili ng bahay, hindi lang kwarto, saan ang chapel, saan ang blessed sacrament. Yeah. And tingnan mo sa buhay ni Mother, Mother Francisca at yung kanyang mga oh. kasamang biyatas, hanapin nila si Jesus. So she asked for one second, mm. the same, the, the new Archbishop denied and also the, the provincial. And then until a new provincial came and she he agreed. Mm. Kasi sabi niya, so, he ag- he, hindi siya nag-agree about the Blessed Sacrament in the chapel. Okay, okay. But she said, if we cannot have the Blessed Sacrament in the chapel, why not put a passageway oh. that will connect the Biaterio ah. to the chapel of Juan Juan de San Juan de Tran? Ganun so, ka, masiklasig. Kaya, kaya may passageway. May passage Ayaw, pupunta kay <laughs> Jesus. Ang galing Mother ni Jess, Jesus. ang laki ng Biaterio, that means... Colegio Biaterio, because it, it, from the time Mother Francisca, they already opened after the mm. education of the faith. Then they, op- they, they, uh, then they offered yung four hours arithmetic. And that writing, means... And then embroidery. Mm. Ah, ah, kaya mm. pala sa oh, galing. Oh, and showing. that means, dumami din ang mga biatas. Oh, the fact that na may Colegio. Kasi at that time, only 15. Oh. 15 biatas because of the mystery. Galing, galing, oh. galing. Oh. Nice. Pero wala, everything was bombed during the war. Ah, everything. Very, very wala talagang natira, sister. Wala talagang. Wala, wala, even records, wala. Oh, pero, oh. pero maganda, may, may meron akong nakita ang mga, ano, no, mga remnants. So, I, I think these are really treasures sa archives oh, oh, natin. Yes, yes. Getting to know uh, the Biatas, getting to know Mother Francisca and the congregation. Wow! Gallery 2? Gallery 2 pa lang po tayo, mga kahabits. <laughs> Alam mo, kapatid, pag ikaw ay student of history, Favorite subject mo, history. Oh. Ako, favorite ko. Next okay. to recess. Kaya ako, please, do talaga ako nandito si Sister Jess. Historian talaga. Uh, mga kahabits, uh, nakaka, ano po, nakaka-inspire ang buhay ni Mother Francisca. Tara, sa Gallery 3. Ayan, we are in Gallery, gallery 3. 3. Anong meron po dito sa Gallery 3, Sister Jess? Ano po? Oh, ang daming mga... Ang, ito, ah! the opisyena in the world na ito yung mga misyon na so, mother yes. so kapatid sa history kasi they, they are called biatas mga holy women mm. and then syempre 15 the congregation started was canonically established in the they what they call this the uh, definitive establishment yes. was in July 26, 1696. 1696. With the profession 1696. of Mother Francisca and seven other biatas. Ah, plus seven, wow, the eight. Oh, oh. Uh, More than 300 biatas. years. More than, More than 300, 300 years, years. galing, no? Yes. And then, nag-evolve siyempre hanggang kailan kayo tinawag na Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena? 1933, 1933. When we became independent from the Mother Province, which is the Holy Rosary Province. Ah. So they were, 
because there were some because we were had, we had a mission in China. Mm -hmm. oh. So the first the first Filipino missionary to China came from the Vietario. So oh, ayan mga kapatid, bago ito ha. Mga misyonero sa China ay first, galing sa Vietario nila Santa Mother Jess at mga opisyana. That was, there Dapat were three na, of them. Nasa yan? There were three of them, Pascuala, Ana, and Junisha. Oh. Two of them died in China. They spent their life. Galing. Kaya lang because they, they were sent out ng Chinese. Oh. Oh, Jika, for 326 years, naka-open sa China. pa kayo? Oh. Bonggang, bonggang, bongga ang ating mga missionaries. Ayan. So, dito mo, sis Mother Jess, ang mukha mga habits ito. Yeah. Na evolution ng Saan po na, nadatna ninyo? Saan po? I, ako, nadatna ko from here. Wow! <laughs> from here. Galing. Until, yeah, until now. Galing, no? Tapos nag-evolve talaga ang kanilang <laughs> great habit. So, Because you presume then paano. the time, lahat yung mga habits. So, this from... one is 1968. Oh, ito. Kasi, Oo. Because so, yun yun ang habit the, nila. Tingnan nyo mga kahabit. So, uh -oh. meron pang mga toka dito after dati. After the Vatican ano? II yun, nag-start ng Yes, yes, oh, yes. Ayan, I, 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 we wore this. this yeah, I remember our podcast. This one, I wore this. Ang <laughs> <At, laughs> wala ka matay ang Almerol. <laughs> At lang siya. <laughs> Ay, oh. <laughs> Kapatid, naabutan itong typewriter. Oh, yes. Ay, na ako. Na ngayon, panahon ngayon, ma Wala ma habis na. computer, pero ngayon, nako. Wala Ayan, na may mga old pictures tayo. Nako, ito pa ang gaw ito ang ginagawa ng mga madre. Oh, sa labores. They have time ah, for, yes, ano, yes, yes. for work my ship. May even gardening. May, may time painting. talaga kasi sa Madam Jess, ano ang drama niyang parang gown dyan sa likod mo? Ayan po. Ay! Yes, yes. The time... When we, Kapatid, parang kinakasalan ang madre oh, talaga when dati. When we were postulants, uh -huh. we, we, we were at that time we were in Baguio sa postulancy. After after six months, we we uh, have the clothing, they called it. Uh, the and closing. our clothing Mr. was in Ligarda, Santa Catalina, Santa Catalina Ligarda, oh, Ligarda, Ligarda. From Baguio, then Ligarda. And we wear a gown. Tagang wedding, wedding, wedding gown. Wedding gown. Wedding gown. Wedding gown. Wedding gown. Wedding gown. Kapatid. We march to the altar and then we take our places there. And then after that, when it's time for for the change, they cut muna a piece of our hair. hair. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then after that, we, we go out, then we come back, we change with the habit. Mm. Uh. So you see, parang kinakasal din ng mga madre. Dati oh, na, kinakasal hindi ko ito naabutan, pero nakita ko pa sa mga old sisters uh -huh. namin po, Madre Jess, na meron mm -hmm. silang ano, trahi di boga na sina, na sinasaw. So talagang, so na-establish na talaga, may constitutions na po ang kanilang kongregasyon. Lah halos lahat po ng mga consecrated uh, men and women, ng mga religious congregations and orders and institutes ay kailangan ng rule of life, ng mga yes. constitutions at ng, uh -huh. tawag ito, statutes. Ayan. Ito oh, pala. Yan. Mga old pictures po. Ayan, ayan. Yan, yan, yan ang habit. Kapatid. Yan o, oh, that's the... Ito. Oh, the gown, yan. Sa amin, the sa gown, atin, no, si Sijet. May pinatanong sa atin eh, mga ganun. Which do you prefer? Uh, well, prefer behold, dear choice. sisters, the two crowns, one of roses and one of thorns. Which one will you choose? <laughs> I choose the thorn, the crown of thorns as the bride of the thorn crown king. Ah. Ganun kami. Tapos isabit sa may ulo mo. Habit. Ah. Ganun po siya. Mother so, Jess, you, you still have so this. From, from the Biaterio in Intramuros, saan na kayong lupalop sa buong mundo Ayan. ngayon? Ah. Sa Bisaya pa, asa mo nagwarawara na? So, asa na mga missionaries so we, ngayon? So we spent, we kwa mo na, China. Apo, Pala China, yan, China, 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 Japan, oo. Oh. So now, a pre, a pre, you mean a present or? Yeah, you present. Went in, huh? So from then you went to China. And oh, and then we came back and then we established now. We in Paris to establish Palawan, oh, Palawan. one of the oldest. Ah. So Palawan, it was the bishop who invited us to go there. Oh, the Kamisa ako dun sa Palawan ito, the Philippine map. Yeah. Ay napun, ang dami nyo pala. Mm -hmm. You are running what? Schools? Schools. We have hospitals. Hospitals. And then we have retreat yeah. houses. Retreat houses. Galing. So, um, what is challenging for our, our local mission mm -hmm. is our mission in Pulo. Wow! Nasa Pulo sila, kapatid. Yes. 
it's a majority ng mga Muslim brothers and sisters natin or andoon ang mga opisyena. At uh, saka Cotabato Hospital. Cotabato also. also oh, yes. So, kapatid, hindi pa na hindi pa natin naririnig ang interfaith dialogue. Nauna na sila. Totoo. Nakipag-dialogue, nakipag-mission uh, na sila doon. Galing, no? Very so, ang dami yung parang communities yes, and yes. mission uh, stations Imagine, in the Philippines. Imagine kapatid, they just started po sa may Intramuros. Oo, oh, uh, from yeah. Intramuros and then hindi lang sa Philippines. Hanggang um, sa buong no, paro ng world. We have USA, Ethiopia. Ang dami na po. Australia. Sri Lanka. Australia pa rin yan siya na, uh, how do you call this? We have... Uh, na pulao sa kapitid. Australia, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Europe. Europe. Sa Italy, sa, and yun, Norway. Sa uh, oh, Greece. Norway, mga kapatid. Kung, and uh, sa Norway, you know who were the first, uh, one of our sisters and two of our graduates ng Mother Francisca Formation uh, Institute. Wow. Produkto. Na-inspire sa buhay ni Mother Francisca. Mm -hmm. Al alam mo, Sister Cleofe, kung may aeroplano pa po tang Mars, pupunta din siya na doon. <laughs> or Jupiter. <laughs> Para mag-mission. This is the work of God. <laughs> Yun bang mama habis yung yung big maging kan nag-start lang si Mother Francisca and seven others and oh, now they oh. ilan na kayo mga oh, 300 300 imagine ka to 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 continue the mission of Christ the basta work of God no work uh, the grace of God will always Father, be there Father we have Ethiopian sisters Ethiopian sisters and Vietnamese ay, ang dami na. Ito, international na talaga yung kanilang mga members. So, it's good to know yeah. that, Mother. So, Mother Jess and Sister Cleofe at mga kahabits, bibitinin muna natin na ating tour sa puntong ito. And there's more to come after our quick break. While waiting, don't forget to visit our social media at mag-send ng, ng Facebook stars dahil the more stars you send, the more people we can help. At Mga kahabits, let's reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers for our YouTube channel, Conference of Major Superiors PH. Stay tuned only here with your information and inspiration companion. This is The Habits! Ayan. May, may Dominican sisters of St. Catherine of Siena na mga Ethiopians, Vietnamese. May Indonesians kayo. May Indonesians, wala pa. Wala. Filipinas, of course. No? Imagine, mayroon na sila. 300 plus sila. So, dapat, uh, by the grace of God, madouble yan, 600. Sana. Ayan. And we pray for that from our vocations. Po, so, talaga, oh, tingnan mo ang documentation nila. Very tedious, very uh, detailed. Hindi ka basta-basta lang mag, ano, Kailangan ang simbahan ay uh, guided ng mga standards and principles. Akala kasi nila madali yeah, na maging santo. At nandito pa rin kayo sa The Habits on the Spot. Presenting the Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena Congregational Museum. At kasama pa rin natin si Mother Jess to tour us around the museum. Ayan. So, nasa Gallery 4. So, Mother Jess, hindi siyempre nag-foundress ng OP Siena, Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena. So, may cause na, nag-umpisa ang cause ng kanyang canonization. So, surely, marami kang alam. Paano po ba ang oh, pag-umpisa? Ano, ano, ano po ba ang mga proseso oh. po, Mother? Mga, ano, Let me start because even way back 1965, mm -hmm. there were reached uh, the mother na TV na Pilapi din wanted to really start the cause, the cause of Mother Francisca. Mm. So they tried to excavate uh -huh. Luis Electran because she was buried after she died in the morning of August 24. She was buried in the afternoon mm. in the church of San Juan de Letran mm. chapel. Mm. And you know where her tomb was? 
over the steps of the main altar on the Gospel side. Ah, okay. yes. That was in 1711. Okay. So, ang excavation was around seven, uh, 1965 now, because she wanted to open the course. Mm -hmm. Now, so they, they dug. And mga naka-10 feet na, the architect is there now who supervised. They said they saw the pavement. Kaya lang, they did not see anything yet. And, and she said, she told me, I could have gone wider and deeper. Mm. But because the boys were coming back to school, and it's a safe the open pit. So they have to close. Ah. So when we wanted, when we when the, when the chapter mentioned that we reopen the course we have to be, I, 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 the first, the first question I asked the, the one in Rome, the postulator, I said, is it still, is it good to open a course without the relics? Mm -hmm. Anything because of 1711? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes. Oh, so oh, that's when we start, to, ah. when we start really to reactivate. So, but there is a national marker, the Saletran, mm -hmm. uh, is the site, burial site of Mother Francisca. It's there, ah, 2000, okay. when we put that up, mm -hmm. by Historical mm -hmm. Commission Institute. Grabe yung documentation work. Pero may mark lang talaga, pero hindi pa siya, wala pong na-dig out to hindi, the Hindi, kasi it's in, in ang chapel, Very kasi sa, sa map, ang chapel sa design, it is where the basketball court, and oh, ang mga and then you put there the right. So, so ito ang dinaanan. Nako, ang daming dami so, mga asyo. So, in 2000, in 2000, the course was opened, the process, with appointment of a postulator. Okay. So, of course, it was Father Benke in Rome. Okay. Uh -huh. So, and then, so, so when we started, we had appointed the tribunal, you know, mm. that the historical commission, the historical commission. It's a lot of... Ang hirap, yeah, no? Yeah. But anyway, like 2000, in July 8, 2003, we had the day of set inquiry, mm -hmm. the opening of the course. As I said, Manila. Oh, as I said, because she died in Manila. Correct, correct. Uh, so uh, the one who approved the, the petition was the Archdiocese of Manila, who was Cardinal C. Cardinal C. Uh, that was 2003. Uh -oh. March 24, 2002. 2002. Uh, 2000, I mean. And 2003, when we opened the inquiry already. So, mga kahabits, hindi madaling maging santo. <laughs> kailangan uh, it, it, mga, na mga proofs. At kailangan naman dapat, dahil ito ang ano ng simbahan natin, no? gagawin kang santo. Ako kapatid, maging santo kaya ako? Ay, bakit naman nagdududa ako? Ang santo, pagpapakabait ako, Lord. Hindi, <laughs> kapatid ko kasi, Ang Wait. course ni Mother Francis is ancient course. Ancient. Ah, because there are no living witnesses. Correct. So we depend all the documentation, all the what we are, our life is, is a documents. And the primary document was the Breve Relacion, mm -hmm. which was completed 64 days after her death, October mm -hmm. 28, 1711. Ah, yes. Because yes. mga ancient wala pong mga wala, relic wala, wala, mother. Wala, wala. Kasi no? it's oh, well, Imagine how many hundred of years nang naka... So and the earth... Uh, dig out to the surface. Ang ano, so, yeah. ang tindi talaga ng pinagdaanan ng proseso na oh. po ni Mother Francisca. So, so Ayan, ito na. So, so ito yung mga ano nila. Katakot-takot talaga na proseso, no? It was open in Santo Domingo, the day of the inquiry, July 8, 9, 2003. And we closed it here on December 6, 2003, also the same year. Mm -hmm. Here in the chapel. And then we sealed the documents, all the actas, actas of 2005 pages. 2005. Mm. Wow, <coughs> and, and because of that, ang dami ng mga documentation na nagawa, no? Uh, Marriages, the cradle years of the Dominican sisters in the Philippines. So, talagang maganda, may written history na tayong babasahin. Produkto di ito ng mga documentation. Galing. Oh, and we have other documents also. Uh, one Santo uh -oh. Domingo. 1696, uh -oh. 1996. Siyang, he was the spiritual father after the Holy Santa Maria. So, ito years. lahat. Ito lahat naman ang kadisplay po nito, oh, Father. Ito yung mga pinagdaanan na. po niya sa oh, proseso po. Process. Wow! Ang dami pa oh. nila. Ano kaya ako, kapatid? Di ba, may mga choices ka? Martyr, <laughs> confessor, priest. Do you have your own choice, kapatid? Oh, my, what would you like? Ayoko din mag-stigmatis. Ayoko din mag-stigmatis. Ayoko din. 
Ayan. Ay, hindi mag <laughs> <laughs> alam mo, alam mo para kasaysayan talaga oh, ng kongregasyon, no? Kasi binabasa ko yung mga sabi ko wala, ang dami palang dapat i-proseso. Ma- oh. ma- imagine ka, Sister Cleofe, my, my Dominican sisters of St. Catherine of Siena na mga Ethiopians, <laughs> Vietnamese. May Indonesians kayo. May Indonesian, wala, wala pa. Wala. Filipinas, of course. Oh. Galing. Imagine, Is meron na sila. 300 plus sila. So, dapat, uh, by the grace of God, madobol yan, 600. Uh-oh. Sana. Oh, and we pray for that from our vocations po. So, talaga, oh, tingnan mo ang documentation nila. Ah, very yes. tedious, very uh, detailed. Hindi ka basta-basta lang mag-ano. Kailangan mm-hmm. ang simbahan ay uh, yes. guided ng mga standards and principles. Ah. Akala kasi nila madali yeah, maging santo. Yeah, ang position, that's already official of mm-hmm. the document of the Vatican. Ah, the process for the saints. Uh-oh. Though she is, ang sabi ni Saint ni Pope Francis, the joy of consecrated life. Tinan ko kung joyful ba sila. Nakasmile lahat. I think the joy of Dominican life, no? Joyful pa sila gang sinasabuhay po ang karisma pa ng mga Dominicans. Sabi daw nila, hindi ka matatawag ng Dominican if you're not a joyful. Kasi kung walang person, joy, really just, oh, ano, eh, anong silbi na ating consecration? Tapos walang mga attract sa may religious life, kapatid, oh. kung ang mukha mo ay... Kaya mga kahabits, oh. yung mga maasim, ang mga fest. <laughs> uh, smile talaga. You need to be joyful. <laughs> Kita mo oh. si mother, oh. oh. She's, ano, uh, smiling face lang. You give attract active sa mga ano natin. Ay, di ba uso ngayon Lorenzo Ruiz and Companion Martyrs? Martyr, uh, meron ding Pedro Caruso and Companion Martyrs. Ang problema ko, baka St. Toots Bonafé martyred by his companions. <laughs> Pinatay na magkasap. Kabahabis, <laughs> joke lang mga kahabis. Ayan. So, Mother Jess, dito na tayo sa Gallery 5 Gallery and 6. Uh, okay. Ano oh, meron dito? Ah, ito yung... Wow! Ah, yeah, that's the one in uh, Intramuros Plaswela. Yeah, ito yung marker na sinasabi po. Ah, hindi. Ang markers inside, yan, inside, ah. the, inside the Intramuros. Intramuros. Inside the Tran. Hmm. Ah, ito yung marker. Ah, the Red Minister rin ng Philippine National, National, National Historical Institute. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos, an- anong... anong ito meron? yung... Saan? This one, Iprasuela, ito yung kanyang monument outside in front of the tram. Ah, okay. And do you know that IA will give us the portion here? Mm-mm. It's a big portion for a garden shrine. Okay. Ah, okay. Sige so, po. today, that's why I'm going to meet the architect. Correct. Al- al- alam mo, kailangan natin ng mga inspiration, mga buhay ng mga banal, ng mga santo, at ng, ng mga ano kapatid, ng mga bayani. Tapos, nagkukuray ako kayo ng stamp. Pahingi isa. <laughs> Sige, Bawal hindi. Po. Imagine ka, na-recognize ng Philippine government yes. ang buhay ni Mother Francisca. Meron siyang stamp. Yes, it's okay. Galing, this is in 2011. Oh, that's the centennial. Naku, collector's item na ito. 300 years. Collector's one item na ito, kapatid. No? So, yung Gallery 5 pala nila, kapatid, is the tricentennial ah, ano, celebration. Mm, Ay, ito ito na, 300 years? Hindi okay. lahat makaabot ng 300 years. Ay, ito. Sister, ano na din sa pag may nawalang isa, hindi ako ang kumuha. Obvious. Oh, meron mo, oh, ang dami stamps. Uh-huh. That means the Philippine government recognizes the the virtues of uh, Mother Francisca. Francisca. For 300 years. So, Mother Jess, ano ito? Pakiwari ko ah yeah. uh, mm. logo. Tricentennial. Tricentennial. May mga meanings yan. Star, of course. Star is yung reproduction of Christ. Tapos saudare, benedicere, predicare. Ay, ano po kaya yan? No, those are... Pag nagbimisa ako sa mga siyanas ko, laudare, benedicere, Predicate. Kabisado, kabisado na yung kata natin. Laudare. Yeah. Correct. Oh, oh. Ano itong logo nyo, Mother Jess? Uh, yung isimbolizes yung mga different types uh, for the cross. Devotees mm. of Sacra. Uh, yan. Yeah, mm. You know that already. Tapos yung heart. 
Ang daming mga memorabilia no? mm -hmm. ng celebration ng 300 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, si Sir Cleofen talaga grace of God talaga no pag nakaabot ka ng 300 years oh so, ah the icons you read the centennial ah the icons so catechesis school ministry uh, uh, health care prayer life prayer eucharist uh, scriptures uh -huh. and the love And of course, uh, Laudare, the Lady of the Rosary. Benedicere, predicare, the poor. So the, 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 the poor, yes, yes. So, about pastoral just, ministry. Now, you know, we call it injustice and peace. Mm -hmm. no? Correct, correct. But you correct. know, I would like to tell that injustice and peace, then, the, uh, the symbol of justice and peace, for us, it has been connected with Mother Francisca. Mm. Why? Because during the time, you know, girls, the young girls, the girls, don't okay. they walk into the to the to give a tenure to to live with them is are those children who are sometimes found in the streets. So some of them are found oh. in front of the doors of men mm -hmm. and in fact that was the time when they were already correct. Uh, so much Yung feeding the hungry, so, the poor children. Hindi pa na umagabi, hindi pa na uso ang JPIC na yes. term. Ginagawa na, ginagawa na, na, na po ng mga madre po na natin na sika. Correct, no? Yung the strict children, the poor. Yes. Ay, nako, I am learning a lot, uh, Mother Jess. Okay. And this is Gallery 6. Gallery 6 na tayo. Wow. Collection po ng mga OP Saints. Collection of our sisters, mga even our friends, sisters, but they travel. And kapatid, itong crucifix nato, siguro galing ito sa mga kumbento kumbento nila ng unang panahon. Mm -hmm. And then the went to So, sa gallery na ito, makikita mo ang ang, uh, ang mga crucifixes, mga chalices, mga monstrances, at ang mga santo. Ibig sabihin, ito ay napaka close sa buhay ng mga Madre uh, Dominicans. At of course, ang mahal na Birhen. Uh, at saka si St. Oh. Dominic. Ah, so may mga relics din po sila dito, kahabit Father Toots. Oh. Eto. Ngayon ang Dominican na seal. Constance. Okay. Ay naku, Latin kapatid. Latin. <laughs> Santo Rosario. Ayan. Ito yung ano niya. Okay. The first class relic of the following of the saints. Saint Dominic, Saint Vincent Ferrer. Ang dami first class Saint Peter the Martyr, Saint oh, Pius oh, V, Saint Peter Nolasco, Saint Raymond Donatus, Saint Agnes, Saint Hyacinth, Saint Catherine of Genoa, Ito. Saint Antoninus, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Rose of Lima. This is the treasure of the congregation. Yes. The first class relic po. Pagdika ang mga santo na dito. Ng mga Dominican saints. Wow. Excited ako maging yeah. eh, na maihirang na rin si Mother ano Francis ka na maging relic santa. Mo? First class relic, anong kukunin sa'yo, Father? Uh, face. Face. Di ba sabi niya, mga bones, mga hair, uh, parang ganun, ano? Opo. Ipin, tang. <laughs> Di ba? Sa kanila kayo, no? Kaya mga first class relic so, na tinuha. So, may, meron akong Question kay Mother Jess. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, si Mother Francisca po ay naging instrumento ng Diyos, no? At uh, 
she embraced the Dominican spirituality, Dominican way of life. And she lived in the past, 300 years ago. Ano ang mensahe ni Mother Francisca? Venerable, Mother, Venerable Mother Francisca del Espíritu Santo de Fuentes sa atin ngayon. Lalo na sa mga kabataan. Uh, sa posisyo, dito ako ng commission, described her as a woman of great faith, mm -hmm. resolute hope, and steadfast love. Mm -hmm. A woman for our times. Mm -hmm. May sabihin niyan, what she had lived before, what, how she lived and her future state should be lived now. Should continue. So we should make it alive. So that is why we have all these ministries and we have other ministries at the Bumbos, including the NGPC, we have the school, we have the SPC, for the poor, all this. So, in other words, but um, I think we, um, for us, the, 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 the fact that the first ministry that she really asked for was the education in the faith mm. of our young native girls. So, in other words, the, in other words, to make, because at that time, we were not animism. Mm -hmm. you know? So, that's why uh, our brothers and sisters and mother uh, came to so that's the first day they, they, they see us for that within, within the enclosure with them to, to educate them in the faith and professional Christian life. Kaya yung our love for the young. That's why we have the school ministry. Oh, and then, of course, we have expanded what she did before. And of course, yung love niya for the rest of the No wonder why they have many schools, kapatid. Because they have this uh, kind of ministry, education of the faith. Importante po talaga sa panahon po natin ngayon, actually, Mother Jess. Kapatid, no? mukhang kailangan ko yun. Great faith, resolute hope, status sa sarap. Mukhang kailangan ko talaga. Para magiging santo oh, po tayo, kapatid. Hindi lang kailangan mo, kailangan natin lahat. Ikaw, kapatid, ito. ano ang gusto mo itanong kay Mother Jess? So, Mother, Kung, kung buhay po ngayon ano si Venerable Mother Francisca sa ano mo ano kaya ang pinaka ano na gustong sabihin ng ni Mother Francisca sa congregation ninyo sa mga kahabits po natin ngayon na nakikinig po sa kanya so assuming po ikaw si Venerable Mother Francisca kunyari ano gusto lang, kunyari, mong oo oh, oh, ano gusto mong sabihin at bigyan ng emphasis emphasis talaga ang itong ano na yan Buhay ba? Kunyari, ikaw si Mother Francisca. Sa panahon Francisca. po natin ngayon, ano, Mother Jess, <laughs> sa panahon po natin mm. ngayon, ano kaya ang yung, magiging message niya? Uh, the message would be talagang to yung to anchor in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. To anchor in Jesus kasi if ever she had lived that and with all her ministries and her apostolate, it's because she always see Jesus. Her following of Jesus anchored on what, in other words, she followed our Lord. So the, the virtues that they had practiced, mm -hmm. yung example ng courage, you know, mm -hmm. when they buy your son, you cannot have because he wants to have a kid. Yes, he, yes. I said, no, 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 until one day, he said, the 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 said, impertinent, she mm -hmm. was called, mm -hmm. and I said, told the prior, Father Prior, he will tell you it because started your reverence with mm -hmm. And the prior, prior said that everything she said happened. That even he himself. Mm -hmm. So you, you carry some passage with him. I true, think true. And carries, yeah. And she was persistent. She does not give up. Uh, she was in one of the own. You just imagine after nang inex communicate to sila, no? <sighs> imagine kung natuloy na. Ano, wala pong Dominican sisters yeah. ng well, kasi Katerina of Siena. Oh, 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 imagine. Yeah. And she continued, no? Mm -hmm. She continued she po siya. Yeah. So, yeah. So, for us, uh, I think for me, it's just the, her closeness, her closeness to our Lord. Ang Lord shall. I think every one of us, every one yes. So the message people, would be to anchor to Jesus, 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 knowing yeah. po ng mga kabataan po ngayon. Oh. No? At so, saka so, mga matatanda, kapatid, mga <laughs> adults, kahit saan tayo naghahanap ng meaning ng buhay, pero maganda yung sinabi, balik tayo, ba, punta tayo sa Diyos. Saan tayo kakapit? Yan. Sa politiko? Of course not. Saan tayo kakapit? Sa mm -hmm. mga, mga lures ng, ng uh, 
world, siyempre sa Diyos, sa Panginoon. Oh. So, mother... W- wala ba kayong ano? Wala ba kayong voice department? <laughs> yeah, magpapadap ako. <laughs> pwede, pwede. Correct. May fraternity. So, <laughs> siguro, True. at ano yan natin sa mat. Paano po, mother, mag-promote po tayo ng ano natin ngayon, ano, vocation sa mga, alam ko maraming yes. nakikinig po at of course, they're watching us for the uh, younger ones. Maybe they're interested to enter po ng Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Shed. Why don't we invite them, mother? Okay. So, um, I want to say yes, so for the promotions uh, of the vocation, vocation for promotion. Come and see. Wow. Come and see. Because it's only when you but the Lord will invite. Because the Lord will inspire each one of us mm-hmm. for, a, mm-hmm. for a state of life, for a mm-hmm. calling. And but you hear in your heart to say, Parang Diyos ko rin. Parang tinatawa. Don't hesitate. Then you will know really. But Peter, if you are invited, you can say yes or no. So you say yes, huh? Oh, see. <laughs> Ayan. Come and see and taste the taste the love of God. Galing. Ayan. Maraming salamat po, Mother Jess, at sa mga kapatid na Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena, Philippines. Dahil hindi lang museo ang uh, tinor namin, kundi ang, ang buhay ni Venerable Francisca del Espiritu Santo. De Fuentes. At ang kasaysayan po, yes. no? ang history po ng pinanggalingan ng Dominican Sisters of Siena. So, it increases actually yes. ng faith din po natin. At it inspires actually sa ating mga mga kapatid po natin na nakikinig po at nag- nanonood po ngayon. Okay, maraming okay, salamat so, po. Thank again, you very much. Maraming maraming salamat po, Mother Jess. Yes, maraming wow. salamat po. We are more, more than happy of your presence for this day po, Mother. Thank okay. you, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you, Okay. Wow. favorite mo dong parts ng museum tour natin? Ah, uh, mm, lahat. Ang dami natin. Siyempre, na, kapatid, ano alam mo naman ako, favorite ko ang history, no? At ang buong buhay, no, na uh, ni Mother Francisca ay uh, inspiring. Inspiring talaga, no? Paano nagsimula? Ano yung mga challenges na hinarap ng uh, ng biateryo, ng mga biatas? At hanggang ngayon, andito pa rin sila. Kaya, Uh, which part? Almost all uh, parts ng museum at mas na-appreciate at nakilala ko si Mother Francisca. Alam mo kapatid, uh, ikaw naman, uh, ano yung pwede mong baunin mamaya? Ako actually kapatid, ang dami kong babaunin eh. Parang na-refresh ako din ng history po ng congregation namin. Ay oh, Dominican ka? Oo, oh, oh, kasi actually yung congregation namin ay galing po sa Siena. Oh. Kaya sabi ko, ang history ni Venerable Mother Francisca is also our own history. True! And it's good to know her better this day. Oh. Kasi, na-appreciate ko pati na yung bukasyon ko Correct. at the same oh. time. Continuing kwento, oh. no? Tapos yung history nila, na ito pa lang pinagdaanan ng mga madres dati, ano? Imagine 16, uh, 17, 17th century yung kapatid, mm-hmm. ilang years mm-hmm. na, ang tagal. Kapatid, parang ang opisya ng Old Testament, tapos uh, galing kayo sa, sa opisya na, at kayo naman, ang uh, may, meron kayong Totoo. sariling kwento, Totoo. you always refer to yes, the Dominican Sees of St. Catherine. Ang galing, ganun, ang ganda. Kapatid. Kaya oh. sabi ko, um, nadagdagan yung knowledge ko, yung True. background ko yeah. sa history po namin dahil dito kay Mother Francisca. Ay, so in short, kapatid. sa museum, lahat. 
Ay, of Bukhang course. Bukhang oh. ninanam na mo lahat. Parang, parang ako yung ano doon. Parang part ako ng ano ng history. And look at Correct. this. Correct. Ano. Tingnan natin yung mga mothers natin kanina, sina sisters. Uh, yes, yes. Now, they are the fruits of uh, the holiness of Mother, Mother Francisca. Francisca. Sana kapatid, maging banal din ako. Kaya ko ba? Kaya! Kakayanin natin, kapatid. Kayanin mo din. Kakayanin oh, din ng mga kahabits Mara natin. Maraming mo, after 200 years, maging... Oh, oh. Saint. Saint ako. Baka. Saka ba, ba, bakit baka? Talaga siguraduhin na natin din. yan, yeah. kapatid. O, oh, di ba? Ayan. So, mga kahabits, where do you want us to go next? Here on the Habits on the Spot. Share ninyo na rin sa amin ano pa ang gusto ninyong pag-usapan sa ating next episodes. For comments and suggestions, feel free to contact us in our social media. Also, visit our YouTube channel, Conference of Major Superiors PH, and click the subscribe button. Maraming at maraming salamat po sa Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena, Philippines, for allowing us to feature their museum and for touring us around. Join us again as we explore consecrated life, the church, the world, and the society. This has been your Kahabit, Sister Maria Cleopatra C.O.P. from the Dominican Sisters of the Most Holy Rosary of the Philippines. Thank you very much, mga Kahabits, for having us on your weekly religious routine. See you next week. And I am your Kahabit, Father Toots Bandafe of the Order of Carmelite, signing off from your weekly inspiration and information companion. We have been the, the Habits. Habit. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, mga Love kahabits. You. Stay healthy. Blessings.